mean, honestly, uh, after the break, that's going to be the true question here. But I would assume that Naga's not going to show up to any fights in the first 15 to 20 minutes. You know, after that, maybe she shows up for song and whatnot. Uh, I, mean, I remember that you said that 15 to 20 minutes, the Naga's think, not going to be around the game. I, I would say I would say so. Unless, like, you know, you can hold me to that. Terms and conditions, Winter, very important. Terms and conditions are that the game and their, basically the lanes have not completely been demolished one way or the other, right? If the, if the laning stage, if it's a normal game of Dota, a.k.a. it's not over after lanes, I don't think 23 is showing up for fights for the first 20 minutes. Yeah. And that's fine. He's, he's a Naga, right? He wants to be farming. He wants to go a little bit later. Um... I think then 20 to 30, he'll show up to, to song disengage. And then after that, he's songing and he's going to kill the rest of his team, basically, after 40 He's minutes. going to show at minute 23. Okay. I think that's realistic. You know, you, what are you thinking? Like two items, basically, on the Naga? Perhaps, is an Orchid any good this game for him? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Faces Void. Win Ranger. Yeah. Kind of force them to get a Manta. Yeah, I wonder if anyone's going to consider... I guess she can get a nullifier later in the build, right? But obviously, if you just get the Bloodthorn, that also solves the Windrun issue. Yeah, I mean, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, I, what I wanted to focus on is going to be the Mag ID strategy here, as CJ is not going to be able to get the rune, but is going to be forced to time walk away. Yeah, Three got out quick for Aurora. by Master Jeps. Um, what are you going to be looking for here? Blink dagger timing early on the, the lull tiny. Mm, that'll probably hit after the pango defusal. And then you'll have... I don't know if I've seen a ton of WR offlane. Am I crazy? I know it's like a thing. But I'm just... I'm not so familiar on what the build is or what the itemization. It depends on the game. It's not set in stone build. Some games you can get a millstorm. Some games you can get the defusal. Then you get Manta. Some games you have to get uh, BKB early. Just depends, yeah. Apparently, this is, this is the most, well, second most common match. Uh, sorry, position. Not the most. I see a lot of Maelstroms, a lot of Diffu. Mostly Maelstrom, though. Maelstrom Glaive near BKB Shard. Okay, I'm starting to see that. Run, my friend, Wind Ranger. The Elder Titan has 100 damage right now. Where did he get all that damage from? Good question. Where? It's just off the wave? Off the wave? And the two heroes, it must have been. I mean, the, the medium camp with the hard camp is blocked. Miney's got a fair amount of damage as well, but more limited in those hits thanks to the tree. CJ, CJ down bottom. Blood grenade toss. They push him away from the tower. That's actually first blood. Yeah, a bit careless there, CJ. Yeah. Time walks on cooldown, you can't really play too aggressive there. It was a little, like another four seconds before he had it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, and, and his mistake there, quote unquote, was simply being close to out of the tower range. After that, Jabs pulls him out and uh, Q's there to secure the kill with the damage. That, that was very well timed. I'm impressed. Yeah, how about the Naga? Is he doing any special things at top against the Wind Ranger? Probably not, yeah. This lane is no. like more more of a very defensive lane, Naga Elder Titan. I think if, the most you, if you can If somebody's hope to gonna do... kill a hero, it's probably the tiny and the Wind Ranger. <laughs> right. Yeah, especially a toss back would be troublesome for the ET. Oh, he actually got an early point in the ensnare. Okay. No rip tight. He doesn't want to push the lane. Yes. Hold on. Well, what are, what are they thinking? I guess if you get the next point... Yeah, I don't know why you'd get it now. It's a good question. It's for the ET, I think. Because once the ET gets a lot of damage, he's running in to hit people. You want to have spells to slow people down so your What's ET it's, can... it's for the tiny, right? I, I don't think you're killing Womi in this lane. He's just got Wind no. Run, right? Yeah. So it's, it's for the tiny. So then I assume at level 3, you'll have level 2 Astral Spirit plus uh, Riptide, 1-1-1 one, one, one in the Naga Siren, and then you, you ensnare him, you sleep him, you get the damage, and you kill him, because he's got no armor. Q is in trouble down bottom. Ooh, CJ can't reach him, though, and he's going to use the time walk defensively here. Uh, big creep wave under the tower here. But uh, otherwise, no real harm done, it would appear. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> can't last hit. They, yeah, they, they 
bite jabs to make sure he can't last at the range creep. That's just the, the disrespect. Speaking yeah. of disrespect, Lornov has 10 denies in the mid lane right now. That's impressive. Well, Tattoo is struggling. Melee hero against Lash is always a, a nightmare. Oh, absolutely. Also, he actually has stun in this particular lane. Maybe that's why he's actually getting so many denies. Because we've seen so many Lash skip the oh, stun. Edict. Yeah, yeah, and just kind of max edict. That could be. That could be. I'm, I'm still either way just shocked. That that's an absurd amount of denies in my opinion. Uh, shout out to Lorenoff though, who is absolutely on top of his game, and there's going to be the first point in the edict. Oh, he's going to get both water runes. This is yep. bad news for our friend the Pangolier. Okay, he might be able to get a refill soon enough. Level three uh, up in this top lane. Uh, Ollie's about to get it. I'm assuming you just want to last it one more creep. He'll put that second point into the spirit. And then you might just go for an Ensnare onto the low. I mean, he's got a lot of HP, but again, so little stats, very little armor. Let's see. What are they going to do? Nothing yet. Good toss back. 160 damage. These denies are pretty ridiculous. Avalanche. No toss for 10 more seconds. The low. They're willing to fight now that there's no Astral Spirit buff, but they're going to have another one in five seconds. The low is diving the tower? What? What in the world? Okay, they could get the kill. I suppose that, strictly speaking, that is worth it, but he is about to have the most rude awakening as he is slapped by seemingly this, this anchor. He's get and he's got so much damage. He does have a blood grenade. Womi getting body blocked here. Ollie will run out of this damage, but I believe should have this kill now. Blood grenade tossed, and he just has it. Look at that, down to 15 HP or so. But he's going to get the double kill, healing salve, and be able to walk off the damage. The good news for Dalol is even though he does die, I think he was expecting, he refills the bottle mid for Poda, and it's just around the six-minute mark. This could be advantageous, especially with that toss back. Lornoff hit by the blood grenade. Dalol, no more avalanche, no more spells, but just the body blocks alone nearly proving to be enough. But no, the stick charges and the fairy fire allow them to turn. A beautiful stop is, is going to condemn Dalol a second time here within the minute. Ali dewarding also in position, getting ready to contest the runes. Yeah, excellent most that by Ollie just running towards the, the mid lane because expecting he might have been expecting a baller refill and uh, he just wants to be around to help out the lash just in case the enemy plays aggressive. But could play that by Oli. I really like the move and a fantastic usage of a healing salve and uh, clarity. He had those items already, just expecting a lot of brawling in this top lane. And if he didn't have those, he probably denies himself to creep through a tower or something, and he's not able to make that play. So good usage there as the Wildwing Ripper putting Womi out of position. They might be able to set up on him. He doesn't have... Oh, he does have a wind run. He's fine. But literally, Wildwing Ripper almost griefing his game. That was incredible. He has a Lotus as well, so pretty sure he wasn't really in any danger there. Despite the neutrals turning on him. They call themselves neutrals, you know, but sometimes they are not very neutral. Very true. Taking sides, you know. Seven minute mark. Seems like Wisdoms will be one apiece here. As do, you, do you feel like the neutrals on the dire side should only attack the, the radiant and the vice versa? No. If anything, it should be the other way around. Because so, most of the neutrals you kill are in your own jungle. Why would they attack the other people for you? Okay. You're onto something. So the you Radiant I mean? neutral should only attack the Radiant and the Dire. Yeah. The, di <laughs> the Dire neutrals will only attack Dire. You know, whenever they see... If you, like, get within 300 radius of them, they should just, like, start casting abilities on you. You know what I mean? Because they already know. They know your shenanigans. They know you're going to farm them jabs. He might get farmed here as well. Oh, level 2 bite. Just out of reach there on the cast range. Jazz is going to be safely away. And another rotation from Ali in the mid lane. Both supports are down bottom right now for Mag ID. This could be a moment now, especially as Pota's already used the swashbuckle. Can't escape. Still has shield crash. They're just going to let him sleep. Just let the pango sleep. Take a rest. Juju. They're going to be here. Wait, Ali's going to have a ton of damage, though. Careful here. 
Rune does spawn bottom, denied by Q as the Rolling Thunder is going to be utilized there. Good toss oh, nice there, toss. and they have enough damage. The lull may end up dropping to the tower as Ollie's got all this damage, but he just can't use it. Echo Stomp out of range. The lull will live on a hair of HP now as they turn back onto Ollie. A crossplate out from Juju up to level three now, simply lasting too long. <laughs> will they even reach for Q? Q seems to want to try. Oh. Maybe was trying to bait them in. I'm not sure, but it seemed like Poda was hoping that there was still a rune there. There was not. It we got denied earlier. Uh, that was an excellent toss back there by the tiny. Very very nice tossing to the roll. Toss into roll. Sounds like he's a pizza chef, you know. Are you actually that hungry? You've been talking about food since uh, twelve. No, I just ate. I'm I'm pretty stuffed right now, but I was trying to say what else do you toss into a roll and the only thing I can couple with is tossing pizza and then rolling with rolling it with a rolling pin, you know, the dough. Mm-hmm. You have one of those? A wooden rolling pin? Of course. Don't lie. I know of you course. don't I don't I know you don't make pizza. I you love old, baking. You always cook spaghetti. Spaghetti al dente. Ali. They'd be in for some trouble. They might just, they might, oh, they don't have the, oh, they do have a point saved. If they want to cast Chronosphere for him, it doesn't really seem like they need to for the kill, especially now with the time dilation hidden. Yeah, Ollie is going to go down. A little bit of space and time created, but not really too much. Hmm, they could invade though. Q has a really big stack going now on these Ancients. I don't know. You don't have Freezing Field. I don't know if you can farm these. You have no, freezing. I don't, don't think they can. This is this is this it's farm tempting. is reserved for Jab. I don't it's think you can very, do it. Very tempting, but they can't. He's almost level six. They're trying to get the level six on CM. No, they're, they're not gonna. They're not gonna get it though. One creep. No, they're not gonna get it. Too late. Now you're gonna split that experience with a couple of Aurora heroes who are coming in to defend. Juju, I mean, the creep's dead and he's still level five. If they can kill a hero, he'll get it. And that hero is gonna be the Lesh. That'd be a big win. Poda goes dying. going in for Dango's the dying. Rolling Thunder, oh. but he is going down 20 HP alive again and he's gonna die to the Rubik right clicks. They've also lost Juju, but still in the vicinity and willing to fight as they toss Rubik up at the sky in the middle, at the top of the Chronosphere. In comes the ET ultimate now with the RP. Joining the fight briefly is 23 Savage to defend the Mega Stacks now as the lull skewered down to the low ground. Song of the Siren. I think 23 is like, nope, nope, nope. That's my kill. That's my kill, guys. This is my kill. Put him to sleep. Wake him up. And a kill for 23 Savage. Yep, 23 Savage shows up to defend the stacks of his actual carry, the Magnus. Jabs. Sorry, Lorinov, really. <laughs> Actually, you're, yeah, you're right. It's the Lash. So the Magnus is indeed rushing the dagger, as I suspected. He needs to play a little less greedy with Lash and Naga as your cause. Has to follow the supports around, set up kills, live into Skiver. Good way to get some pickoffs going. Definitely. And that Blink Dagger will be up, like you say, in just about two, three hundred gold. The lull's a bit further back on his. He's not had a great game. Zero three and five. Not not the worst, but it's it's not really like the tiny airlines game that he was hoping he would Wait, have. Wait, he's maxing toss here. After in a while since I see this. Huh. He wants the range. Yeah, I guess so. I think you do I'm pretty sure you do less damage with this uh, skill build. Absolutely. If you, if you get the the absolutely. point bang range uh, stun toss combo. Yeah, absolutely you do. Avalanche does twice damage, so if, if you leave it, it's going to be, you know, extremely low. So this to build what you is mainly just for getting the range to toss the catch. So I guess you kind of do more reliable damage since it's Radiant long range. You just toss stuff onto the enemy in the team fights. Look, I mean, it, it makes a decent amount of sense to me, right? Early on, if you the further away you toss Lauren off, that's more likely to kill him. You're not going to kill him with, you know, tiny Avatar's damage. If you throw him away, maybe he dies, right? Further away, I mean. Yeah, you don't want that diabolic edict disco pony anywhere near you. So what, ha what happened to the pango there? <laughs> he was like, oh, okay, guys, I'm rolling in the haste. <laughs> Whoops, I'm dead. Pretty much. I mean, at least he... 
does get the kill early, but yeah, it was uh, a bit painful there to say the least. Tower for tower trade here, accepted and proposed by both sides as we're going to settle. Formally now, really the lanes are, are, are done. No more laning stage. Uh, 2k net worth lead for Aurora. Nothing too crazy, I would say. So pretty fairly even. 23 did have a much better start than CJ, though. Yeah, and Naga kind of counters the, the void in the game so much. You, you're going to have to buy a Dispel for the Ensnare. You're going to have to get a BKB as well because of the song. Smoke immediately broken. Jabs. So I'll just get the blink on wow. out. Okay, Saved raindrop. This is why you have a raindrop. raindrop. That's Do also why some waste. would say you want a second point to Nova. Cool. Definitely wasn't me. And level 7, I think this is the optimal build. One, four. Yeah, well, you know. Fair enough. So who is that someone? Now you got me curious. It's me. You gotta get through raindrops. Oh, he's gonna deny the wisdom. Nice. Ooh, that's oh, annoying. Champ. 23 Savage. For, uh, unable to find anything here. I think that was the blink reveal on Jabs. It just about has now maxed in power and skewer, uh, but he's still farming a lot, still looking for a good RP. There is a, a Chronosphere at the ready for CJ. Seems like he's going to be going into the Maelstrom first, into Manta style. And for our Naga Siren, it is going to be the Orchid build now after the Manta. Makes sense. Yep, Jabs is hunting. I don't really know what he's going to be able to find, though. They're going to have to go pretty aggressively under a Tier 1, and that's just, just a little scary, honestly. Even if you do have already a Kaya on the Lesh, no Yules for him left. Uh, means that, you know, a Chrono or a toss back is, is extremely problematic. Who's gonna buy a use to deal with this Magnus? I would say use is always an item. You kind of want to have to deal with Magnus. But nobody can buy it, yeah? On their side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think we just... Greenmaker being such a good item, it's always nice to, to get a use early if it's useful. So they got a pick onto Ollie. Yep, freeze field to, used for that. Nothing just major. trying to get some vision down. Dying. Acceptable losses. They might be able to take a fight with the ward that he did get planted there. Just north of the camp, close to the mid lane. That could turn into something for sure. Especially because 23 is, well... Closing in on uh, the Orchid. It'll still take a couple of minutes, but the ward will be up by then. Now, ooh, level two Pulse Nova with an Arcane Rune in the bottle. Alrighty, it's party time for our Disco Pony. And Magnus is not exactly like playing around the Lash a lot. You know, he's still really concentrating on his own. Scaling, like making sure that he gets items constantly. So you don't see a lot of like uh, very deliberate attempts to find pickoffs, you know. Like sometimes you see Magnus players, they the way they farm, right, it's always any somewhere near the lash or whoever you want to play around with. But right now Jabs is being a little bit more far away, you know. He just wants to maintain his efficiency and abusing this uh, nicely placed four observer wards around the, the jungle on the bottom area so he knows he's completely safe here. Yeah, it's pretty good coverage, actually. I really I really like this bottom ward that's kind of in between the Tier 1, Tier 2 on the radiant uh -huh. side. That's that's a unique one. Uh, you usually see something like that when you're trying to take a fight uh, and, and take the enemy's radiant Tier 1 tower. Uh, but this late, it, yeah, I don't always see that. So, but, but you're right. It's exactly what it's accomplishing. And it's allowed him to continue farming in this relatively dangerous area with confidence. And he's got the Echo Saver. So now he will scale. He can still fight and be the early team fight presence his team needs him to be. It's just that Aurora haven't really been too keen on finding one. And, and they and know, right? They know, right? They have a... the Naga against the, the Chronosphere. So why are they in a rush? They're not in a rush. They're sure, but, rush. but what's that allow, right? It's it's allowed the lull enough time to farm a Blink Dagger. That's, that's for one, right? Uh-huh. It's allowed Pango to get halfway to the Ag Scepter, but he hasn't really had this crazy diffusal timing either, we should mention. Full Maelstrom done for Womi. 
And a Maelstrom for, for CJ. I mean, so it, it doesn't come without its problems here, and especially with a toss back like that. That could be trouble. Q, the telekinesis, he should be dead no matter what, especially after they commit the freezing field. Q still alive. Seems like they'll eventually be able to take him down. The bonk up to the high ground, good enough for Pota to secure the kill. And Delol looking for another toss back. Can't quite find one as Lornoff is able to get a kill down bottom. That was a commitment of the RP. So CJ is going to open up the Chronosphere on the 23 Savage, but he just doesn't really have nearly enough damage. Delol is going to die. It seems like Ollie caught him there on the Earth Splitter as 23 Savage, Song of the Siren, Jabs, Blink Dagger, Skewer, ready to go. They will get him there underneath the tower into the orbit, nice. dead underneath the tier 1 tower. Still fighting now as Lorenov connecting from his kill down bottom onto the Windrunner uh, is this Lashrak trying to get on top of these heroes, but slowed to a crawl by that Crystal Nova and the Inhibit. They'll be able to evacuate the Maiden, but it seems like Poda, yeah, he's going to be fine. 23 Savage, he'd rather be hitting creeps than chasing this Pango. Good fight. Perfectly played by Aurora. Just getting the right uh, initiation there with the song. I guess counter initiation with the Naga. And in the meantime, after the Lash and the Magnus dealt with the Wind Ranger in the bot lane, they TP it and just made sure they won on both ends. Looked good to me. Dalol, gotta be careful for a toss back though. Echo Stomp's gonna stop that possibility though. Well done. Yeah, this Glimmer is really paying off for, for Q. I love seeing these aggressive Glimmer Cape usages, you know? Everyone's like, oh, it's a defensive item, it's a defensive item. And it's true. But there's nothing that really makes me happier than seeing an offlaner occasionally buy a glimmer cape, right? And use it aggressively. On who? Which I've hell? seen it. I've seen it on like Dooms and Magnuses before. I don't know why they do it over Shadowblade, but I've just I've seen it. I don't know what to say. It used to be bought on offlaners that need attack speed. You remember when he gave that attack speed? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's so right. Heroes that are common. Uh, Look, I'm not. To, common I'm to not buy saying that item is like Edge, you know. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a build, right? It's not a. It's never been a build. But it's been a very niche item when you're something like an Enigma or a Mag or some big offlane teamfight ultimate hero who just needs to be able to get in position, you know, and Keeps you're you having trouble speed. with bling. Don't forget. Keeps you move speed, yeah. my friend. That's just, you know, I, 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 all I'm saying is that I, I think uh, Q's doing a good job showing off. You can, you can position yourself aggressively and then glimmer, you know, back to safety. I guess in that way, maybe it's a defensive item, but, you know. It's, it's a different usage than just standing behind your teammates and casting Glimmer, right? You like that every situation requires you to get a different item, or an item can be used differently in a different situation. Of course, I think that's that's one of the most beautiful things about our video game, isn't it? About Dota. You know, we, we have some pretty freaking crazy items in this game. And I think, you know, relatively speaking, Glimmer is one of the more tame ones in the game. But even then, like an item like that is pretty crazy. You just give invisibility to any hero in the game and you can cast it on your teammates. And what would you say is the hardest to use item in the game right now? Hmm, like literally hardest to use? Yeah. Like most complex and requires understanding? I see. I would say probably like a nullifier because if you don't really understand a lot of mechanics in Dota 2, it's not super clear what this item is for. Abyssal, click, stun. Makes sense. Cheap stick, click, click, hex. Orchid, click, silence. Nullifier, click, continuous dispel? What does that mean? What dispels? What dispels what? What heroes do you need to build it against? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would say I that's, probably, that's probably the most difficult item to use after Dagon. Dagon's really hard to use. Yeah, I agree. Hardest item to use in the game. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Do you think you had a different opinion? Maybe Conda? And there's some uh, brooch, blink brooch dagger. I always fuck uh, up the blink dagger. Did you know? Did you see the clip of Crit learning that you can over blink? Yes, I That's always blink one. too much. Well, Song is gonna be able to pick off CJ. Just uh, caught farming a bit too aggressively there, honestly, in the river. Lorenov cannot catch Poda. Yep, but no man that means no way out. Ooh, the low hiding in these trees. Oh, they've just seen him now with the Naga illusion, but can they catch him? Got a blink in nine, a TP scroll in five. And in the mighty minds, I think he will escape. Got another blink. Blink again. You? Dom? You has seen him. Blink? Nope. Now it's muted. They also oh they found the Naga? What? They've killed the Naga? What is going on over here? Wait, he solo killed the Naga? 
I guess so. And Delol is continuing to bait out the supports. Now he's going to go for the TP out. I I almost don't believe. And then he remembered to steal Avalanche. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poda, he's setting up for a kill on a Lornoff. Unlucky bounce there on the terrain. He's going to make sure Lornoff can escape. I mean, he's got BKB, so he was probably fine anyway on top of the Aegis. All right. Good moment there. Good moment out from the side of Mag ID. Keen pick off there. Yeah, literally just died to the Windrunner, honestly. Focus Fire Maelstrom. Scary stuff. Never wander alone when the Wind Lady can actually kill you. You don't, didn't expect the Naga to be able to die, you know? He has Shroud, he has high armor, his Manta. Mostly physical damage as well. The low. Now he's going to be killed off. Yeah, he got a Rockfish. Have you tried the rockfish? Or nope. the stonefish? Mm -mm. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. A lot of meat, a lot of flesh, you know. I, I kind of always prefer a fish that has a lot more meat than the ones that maybe the meat is like tender and nice, but you don't get a lot of it. I'd much rather have something that feeds me, you know? Right. You just want to be fed. Stingray? A lot of meat? You like stingray? Okay. No. So it sounds like you didn't get a good one. And Lorenov is just uh, very very hard to deal with right now. With the shield and Egg is still on 2 minutes. As long as they're taking the fights uh, together as a team and Naga is not just getting caught out by, by the Wind Ranger. Very very hard for, for the Faces white to just come to the fights and use Kono. Because you're always in constant worry about the song to counter initiate. Yep. And there's always the the other stuff too, you know. The Elder Titan Storm. You know, you have the Live, you have the RP. And speaking of the Mag, do we still have any solution for him? Not really, no. The low, I think he bought. He bought phase boots after the blink dagger, so he, he you know, highly values the additional armor. Makes total sense. And Juju, well, he's a maiden, so not really farming too well. No, I think you're, 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 you're kind of right about it. I feel like, uh, especially against Magnus, you always want to just have someone dedicate his goal to try and finish a use to deal with the uh, Magnus. Right. Right. I don't know, man. I I know that Yules is not a great build up. It's not a build up that feels For great. Tiny? You mean for Tiny? It's just not a great build up for support heroes it's in general. It's okay, you know, Tiny kind of needs some mana. If you don't have a, a good neutral item, it gives you mana. I, yeah. It's not terrible. It, that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, what what else would Tiny build in a game like this? Echo Saber to scale? Ags BKB? Scale. I don't to know. Scale. What are you, You're worrying about scaling? What, what would you build? What would you build on a support Tiny after the point? I think 4 stuff use, yeah, quite useful. Maybe not 4 stuff, but use for sure. I try to get yeah. Waymaker. Yeah, I don't know. I think Yules is... Maybe I overvalued the item. I really think a Yules is just a great item here. Can they escape? The great escape now being blocked by the illusions, but Jabs catching his spray, but missing the RP skewer in a second. But they are going to still get him. Split Earth is going to be cast, and no more time walking away now, thanks to the Orchid of 23 Savage. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal, really. Not a big deal for the Void. Yeah, uh, not I mean, a big that, deal that the RP miss. <laughs> not a big deal the RP miss. You still use the uh, RP uh, and Void died, right? Yep. Just unfortunate. Didn't really get enough distance to avoid the Lash stun. I mean, at this rate, they won't have any timings to fight into Aurora's uh, five men. Like, I feel like you are always going to run into the problems where you can't kill anyone in the corner. And you're going to always worry about the skewer, which you can kind of maybe deal with if you're tiny, reacts quickly. You stun him right away. Sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, what else can you do? I'm laughing that Q's stolen time walk and he's using it to like farm danger. Time walks, fade bolts, and time walks out. <laughs> you ain't seen anything yet. Have you seen a Rubik farming with a uh, cool spray? No, I haven't actually. Giving you ideas. 
Uh, I, I think the craziest thing I've seen Rubik's do, remember when Beastmaster Ags got like insanely buffed for like, two weeks and then people would just pick Beastmaster mid and rush Ags and the only counter was to pick Rubik mid and build an Ags and do it back at him? I kind of remember that. Drums of Slum, the week of Slum. No, was it, it was two that weeks. Was, I think it was that, two that weeks. Was, that was back when you had the axes. It was still the axes one. All right, Maiden is going to be kidnapped. She's the much easier kill, but maybe they can turn back on a 23 Savage, but they don't get another bonk immediately. The buyback now off from the Maidens. They are pinging on to CJ. They want to try and take him down, but no Orchid for four more seconds. They're going to have to time this split Earth stun, and they've done so perfectly. Can they prevent him from time walking? Not quite, and now Womi opening up onto the Naga Sire, and the Crota Spear is a thing of beauty as well. It's caught not only one, but 23 Savage as well. Stolen Chrono is going to be able to find Womi, as the RP connecting onto CJ. Down goes the tiny. 23 Savage, he may have died, but it'll allow the rest of this team to get four heroes off of his death. Nice straight. Valiantly done by 23 Savage. Not afraid to die, just went in, does his thing, tanks, everything. And just like you said, Richie, the Lash is the true carry. You're just a meat shield, Naga. Or a squid shield, they would say. The song ball. shield. Yeah, squid ball. <laughs> Imagine if you're just using, you know, the head of the squid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> it work, I guess. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Nice job though, good timing on Jab was hitting that RP. Stolen Chrono as well to make sure that the Windrunner was easy pickings. Nothing uh, like using Chrono and basically using it as a stun. I mean, you know you're in so much trouble, right? You land a three-man Chrono, it was a three-man, right? Three-man Chrono and you yep, still yeah. have such a hard time in the team fights. Maybe the they Chrono... were just like, lacking a Crystal Maiden. Because Maiden just yeah. fought back. She couldn't cast a freezing field. You 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 not only did you chrono the lesh, I mean you all, you actually also chronoed the naga, so it was it was a really good chrono, honestly. You barely catching only enemies, three hero chrono. Oh, well, who was the other? Was it was it the ET? I think that was in the chrono as well. No, it was the Rubik. I think it was probably uh -huh. the Rubik, right? Oh no, Rubik stole chrono, so Rubik yeah, was outside. I'd be shocked, right? Because even in chrono, you just casually cast time dilation. Yeah, probably also on cooldown. Not sure. You know that time dilation does not tick down when inside the chronosphere. I don't know, I like, know. I don't know if that's ever made a difference, but it is what an extra the three seconds of the debuff, I guess. Yeah, but it's only to suit the team of the hero, right? He stops time, so how right. can yeah. time dilation move when time is stopped? Yeah, I mean, that, honestly, that, that makes sense. Yeah, what if Chrono just by default paused all your cooldowns? Would that be too good? Like your cooldowns no only longer in tick the down chrono in Chrono? Or even after the Chrono? Only episode. in Chrono. Only in Chrono. Then what good does it do to you? You're already stunning the other hero. Well, like what if it's like a Puck or a Wraith King who's like three seconds away from reincarnation? Okay. Sure, if you play like, that way. Sight of Vice as well now for Jabs. It is basically 23's delivery service right now as he is just going to be delivering these heroes into his hands. Into his fishy sotongi hands. The perfect DHL mascot. Magnus the Diver. Or the, the driver. Magnus the driver. The delivery man. That says hi to your dogs, you know, when when he delivers the parcel and he sees your dogs. Gives your dogs a pet. Gives them a snack. If I was a delivery driver, your dogs would scare me, Winter. <laughs> <laughs> I would not dare. I would not dare to give them a pet. Yeah, I know. I would not uh, advise you to do that. <laughs> I would tell you to keep your distance, especially the feisty one, the small one. The boo boo, the Valentine, or the 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 Palmy. Yeah, she's got a attitude, you know. She's the queen, after all. Yeah. We only have ourselves to blame, you know, for treating her. Oh, you know, like you always queen, spoil you know? your first one, right? <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> yeah that's true that's true and now when you tell her to do stuff uh, she just gives you a stare a death stare you know <laughs> and now everyone's giving faces for it a death stare you better set up another three man chrono with the well, freezing feel they're running out of time to do it but this Roche timer it might just distract Aurora long enough 
There is a good ward now watching over the outpost area, and also Roche is, I don't know, he's not going down too fast, is he? Yeah, Poison this could be Savage, tricky. He's, he's not in the pit, he's just left the illusions there, and the ET Spirit is going to give them pseudo-vision, because it, it makes a noise. The Roche, actually. Oh, okay, okay, CJ's just in there, he's only caught one in the Chronosphere, and of course 23 Savage is going to hit him with the Song of the Siren, but the BKB duration, is it going to be long enough? Lord off, no, he's totally fine, he still has a Bloodstone to use as well, now the Orchid into death. RP is going to connect onto Womi. A stolen Chronosphere catching Poda and the lull. Only Juju can do anything now. He's the Chronosphere ends. Oh, goodness. The heals, though, onto Q. He is just too tanky. He's too big off that healing wand. And now Poda, he's the one left alive as Jabs puts down the lull. They might even just ignore him. I think they will. They're just going to go back and finish Roche peacefully. Very likely we'll finish off this game number one as Aurora completely revitalized after their earlier loss. He had a short song of the siren that healing the lash. Not like he needed it. It felt like it wouldn't have uh, made a huge amount of defense either way. Even without a shot, the, the lash was still gonna live. But yeah, doing everything right there. Just staying out of the pit, making sure that he's just ready to cast the song whenever the Faces Void shows, his, uh, shows himself in, in the team fight with the Chrono. And after that, like the ET, kind of he he actually fed a greater healing lotus to Q. Yeah, that's why Q survived. He wasn't a one. He fed him lotus. The lotus soup. You know, have you had any lotus soup? Yes. You like it? Lotus yeah, soup I... with a uh, bean, a uh, peanuts actually. No, I've had lotus root whenever I go hot pot though. Does that count? No, the soup is different. You I've never had it. it, no. I've also had Mooncake, which is made from Lotus Root, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, some of it. Maybe a yeah. different flavor. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure I've had one that was Lotus. It tasted very nutty. It was good. It was delicious. The snow skin one? Yes, sir. In August, September. I'm not sure. Year. Doesn't it change? Uh, it's almost the same change it doesn't change i think it's august september Is i have right? no idea i couldn't say i'm no authority on the matter sometimes i just see a lot of mooncakes for sale and i go oh it's that time of year again the mid autumn festival poda 2 poda is the two. magnus Fest festival okay right now. all right what's going on what's going on jabs is jabs just dead rp what what we he manta dodged it what a gamer now the song of the sirens out doing literally nothing but surely eventually this rolling thunder will end right right no you thought okay two ultis basically for nothing as what is going on a telekinesis where is poda okay there he is he's back on the high ground Lauren all right says i don't need those ultis i am pushing i am lesh yeah pretty much yeah, still has ages know. for two and i mean the thing minutes. is you just lost like one series like that so you you lost a lot of your mojo so you're probably not going to do stuff like this. <laughs> Run in with uh, no ulties. You're too big ulti. You, you're going to just have to try to play discipline and just wait for it. Just chill and whirl me. Can you dodge the Magnus again? We'll see. While well, he's trying do to it. kill. Well, me. Well, I mean, he, made, he gave an effort, but he is going to get slept here. Ali letting loose the ultimate. This should kill him. Yep. This ulti does a lot of damage. It's not maxed yet, but this ulti does a lot of damage. 50% HP is damage. Half of it's physical, half of it's And magic. it's max HP, not current HP. That's why that it's so true. painful. This is one of Very. the most, probably literally the best damage ability in the game. Because it's, it's always going to scale. I mean, it could be the lowest, but it can probably also be the highest. Especially when you have uh, your natural order max oh, and yeah. you're next to the hero. Because the ulti has two damage, right? Physical That's and right. magical. So you do a lot with your aura. Isn't Elder Titan like one of those really well designed heroes that has a, a right team and all the spells work with the team of the hero? Yes, I agree. I think, and this is such a small complaint, I think his ultimate is the weirdest one. I, if they like reworked the ultimate, I would be fine with it. If it changed into something else that still did split half and half, but did something with the spirit instead. 
I don't know. I guess they don't all have to. Whoa, what a tough back out from the lull. That'll take things off for sure. Lauren off, he didn't get the BKB up, but he still has the H for another minute. Song of the Siren here to reset, but they haven't caught anyone. That's because CJ activated the BKB. He's got Mjolnir. He's got the RP. Will commit it now. Sorry, make that the Chronosphere. In trouble. Is going to be one, but the RP just catching CJ. It's going to allow Lauren off to pop the BKB and the Bloodstone. Needs a little bit more healing as they skewer him back. Oh, the time walk from CJ. It'll keep him alive for now as the stolen freezing field is going to be canceled. 23 Savage trying to do a little bit more damage with CJ still alive silence he can still fight yeah, he can still it. kill he's killed another as the lull getting the kill onto Q now jabs just not doing enough damage and 23 Savage just TP's away just TP's away in the middle of four heroes Aurora they will be repelled off of the high ground level 25 talents or not they will lose three heroes including yeah, that, that Aegis that was like a, a big mess up with the song that he needed to actually just save the song uh, for the Chrono, he can't really song just to try to help the Lash out. He was actually fine anyway, he had a yes, you know, so just needed to be more patient with the Song of the Siren there. It's kind of fought uh, a lot of mistakes like this, you know, but the good thing is they're already so far ahead, so you can kind of do it once or twice, but still get away with it, but yeah. It's a costly mistake for sure for Aurora. I mean, 23 hasn't been in like uh, good shape, you know, in today's series. He's been making uncharacteristic mistakes here and there. Not worth lead, still 28k, Winter. And, uh, Nag ID will hold on. That's an Amplify Damage rune. Gotta really give them a little bit of respect here, Aurora. I don't want to see them throw a lead in this fashion. I think it would be pretty bad for the mental. This tournament's in two months, by the way, so, you know. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of time. Back in the day, it'd be like qualify for a tournament two weeks later, you fly. You like that better? Like two no. weeks, just go? Well, I think for storyline reasons, it's probably a little bit more exciting, but obviously the real world is going to always step in. It's just for some places. It's the hard argument to get it. I will make is if you qualified on that patch, you should play on that patch, you know, because two months is a long time. A lot of things might change. But wouldn't you say it's more about the players than the patch? I think you have a you know, point. I, I, I also think you have a point, by the way. I think that would be that would be ideal. But I also think as long as the competition's even, everyone plays the same amount of games on the same patch, I'm fine with that, right? Yeah, but some teams are better at specific patch, right? So then you qualify with this patch where you're offlane and buys all the aura items. Then the next patch comes like a month later and you play the next tournament in the in a totally different patch where your offlaners needs to buy BKB and dagger. Then all of a sudden you you can't play as well. As yeah, a man, team. I don't I, I don't know if I really believe that though. Honestly. Sure. I mean I, mean, I, you, I, don't, I you don't believe it, but some some teams have that problem, you know, because not all offlaners can do everything. Or maybe you can. Because there are two types of players, right? One that plays like five heroes, but he really specializes in those five heroes. But the other type is the 10 hero player, but he plays all at like 70-80% efficiency. Yeah, but you also have like Amar who will pick his heroes no matter what and force them into the meta. And now we have Mar is almost contested in every single game. I mean, I wouldn't say force. He kind of discovered that this is good, you know, like the way. What do you mean? Playing. That's like saying How is if it I forcing? ate if like, I ate burgers every day. And then I finally, just eventually, everyone else started eating burgers. They'd be like, wow, you discovered burgers. I'd be like, no, I was already having burgers every day. I am Amar just, never stopped I am playing much. I'm just Mars. trying to tell you that it's fairer if we did well in this patch and we qualified from the qualifier with this type of patch, we should be playing with this patch. You know? That's all I'm saying, you know. I think that would be interesting, but I also don't think it would be in the spirit of the game. Okay, not with the two months break, you know. Like obviously, if you play now, you fly two weeks later. It's more feasible, right? I think it's more. It, I think when you come, when you boil it down, it's about the spirit of competition, and that to me means you play as the same team with the same members, and you play the same game. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be the same patch. Sometimes it is what it is, you know. But it matters. I don't even feel like it, it matters. You know, the patch it matters a lot. If it's a big, but you're patch. not. You're not testing people on how good they can play the current meta. You're testing them on how well they can play the game. And if the game changes, then they need to change too. Yeah, but then it would be unfair, right? Because some teams, they... Dude, you have a Lycan offlane the spam... Uh, off that's the spam that's just the nature you know? of the game. All right.
What are you going to say? Go. Oh, you here banned my heroes? That's not fair. I can beat you with my heroes? Where does it end? I am just saying, to avoid that type of arguments, you qualify on this patch, you play on this patch. That's all. That's all I'm saying, you know? Looks like saying, oh, you, if you're playing Falcons, you're not allowed to ban Mars, then you didn't really beat them. Why? They beat you with Mars or without Mars. I don't know. Okay, matter. fine. No dinner for you. Fuck off. Okay. All right. That's what I thought, Winter. Roshan is up. Big fight incoming now. 28k went lead, Winter. Does the lead even matter? Yes. Okay. So, so the next then. Lorna? Finishing Savage needs to make sure he songs for the Chrono. Okay. Not for anything else. Dabs hiding, waiting in the trees. Has a BKB. Has an Ascetic's Cap as well for a Dispel. And the Scythe of Voice. They need vision. They have no vision. They're waiting for the mid creeps to go in at the top wave. Well, mid creeps have been in. They're going to chip away at the tier 4 towers a little bit more now. Scan, of course, is going to obviously say that there are some Aurora heroes still here. The Butterfly on 23 Savage as well. And BOTs too. So these are some fast, fast moving illusions. And they have some real trouble taking them down. Nice Echo Stomp here. Rolling Thunder being ready to go. Roche. They have not really started. Aurora, content on seemingly waiting a bit longer as the lull. He's going to pop another smoke, looking to try and find a toss back to start the fight off here. Will struggle oh, now. Lorinoff is just leaving. He's going, oh, okay, I'm going to go get my, my, my level 25 guys. Don't worry about me. Yoink, plus 40 Edict Explosion. 25, sorry. And now, Mag ID into the Roche Pit. Naga is just going to force him back the good old-fashioned way. Spawning a billion illusions and send them to hit the Tier 4 Towers. Tower Alright, this is very, very nice here. What 23 Savage is doing. He's going to force Mag ID to make an impossible decision. The decision for now is to leave Roche. For some reason, they started taking the Twin Gate. I don't know why. They've caught one. Okay. Into the Scythe of Vice. Into another stun. 23 Savage is back, and he's going to receive the kill on Tapota. Did he misclick? He must have know. been, right? Why would he be using the Twin Gate there? They lost the range barracks. Lost a good amount of HP on the two the tower. They've lost the Aegis. They've lost the Refreshing Shard, which is now on Jabs. Have they lost the game, Winter? Is it over? There is still hope. What a Big move from 23. Void. What a move from Savage, though, honestly. I have to commend him for that. Yeah, after the blunder that he made in the last fight, that was definitely a good comeback. And he's going to get the axe. Well, hold on, hold on. They're hunting him. They're hunting him. They're hunting him. Womi, for some reason, he attacked a creep. Or uh, an illusion. Not sure what. I guess he ran out of wind run. Might as well. And they're on to the tier 3 down bottom. This is going to feel pretty hard, man. This less shard is so annoying. How do you siege into this? What do you do? You have to toss him in. All right. Well, that's certainly one way to get it done. Lauren off. Lauren off. Four minutes on the Aegis. It's now going to be utilized as the lull able to escape a little bit of damage here, but will eventually be taken down. There's going to be the Chronosphere Song of the Siren now immediately used, but the damage from Womi, the damage from Womi. It's too much jabs. He can't hit him. You can't touch this jabs. Another man to dodge. 23 Savage is still going to be allowed to live. He gets out of there. Back to full HP immediately. Spell stolen there. Crystal Nova and toss something too big as CJ. His BKB already used. Jazz going to be able to skewer him back because the Rolling Thunder is not really accomplishing much. A time walk away now as CJ is completely isolated. They're going to be able to get through the Lincoln Sphere here. He's still quite tanky though. Will have another time walk as they toss a creep onto him. That's Q who just tossed a, 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 a boulder onto him. CJ taken down, killed off Aviana's Feather, or the Ascetic's Cap not helping him there. Now the Scythe of Ice onto Poda is going to condemn him as well. That is going to be three dead. Trying his darndest here is Womi, but he's completely alone. Aurora, they probably will not bother chasing him as 23 Savage is straight onto the throne, looking to end this game, forcing the GG out from the lull. It's Aurora who win a 47-minute game number one. Yeah, not... Uh... All smooth sailing you know, for Aurora. A couple of hiccups along the way, but they got the job done. Good comeback after the initial series today, the earlier series where they, they played two really bad games and
important for them to try to bounce back up, get the morale going again, and try to find 